fusion in, in the home that uses um, back, sorry about that. yes it's nuclear but it's uh, using isotopes that decay very rapidly instead of uranium and plutonium that can get be released to it and be out there in the environment forever or you've got um, or your Nikola Tesla and you've got a system that uh, harnesses energy from the ionosphere the solar wind coming in and puts that out puts out enough using a magnifying transmitter to power the world several times over, that gets suppressed. So it's the inventors working on the most exciting stuff that you never hear about because they're either bought out, they're told to go away, or they're made to go away. So that's one of the things that we try to do is, is to help get the word out about those inventors and to help support them. Our website is sftesla.org. But if you know anybody who's an inventor, is working on something to change the world, especially in the area of alternative energy, an advanced system that is a direct threat to uh, existing profits from existing coal and nuclear and oil. Support that guy, support that lady, whoever it is, help them out. You don't have to be a great inventor to do this. You can be someone who helps them does ordinary things for them, stands behind them when they're under siege. Because that's what's going to change things for us, is bringing forth these advanced technologies, many of which, many of you probably have never even heard of. And that's all I had to say. Thank you. SFTesla.org. Check us out. Thank you. Today, uh, wonderful that many people like to speak up. Thank you so much. I just like the uh, schedule of this rally. Uh, about uh, 3.45, we're going to uh, uh, start to walk to the uh, Justin Hammond Plaza, which are uh, only four blocks away. So uh, I'm going to have one or two more speakers at this location. The people who couldn't speak uh, here, uh, you have a chance to speak at the uh, plaza. So please don't go away. And the next is uh, B. B. Uh, I want to thank all of you who is here to uh, commemorate the Fukushima anniversary that happened on March 11, 2011. And as, as you all know, today is Mother's Day. And so I really appreciate you know the sacrifice you made to come here. You could be with your mother or grandmother or wives or daughters, but you chose to be here because you think it's important, because you want to celebrate and honor life and our Mother Earth. The original Mother's Day was created by Julia Ward Howe. She lived with her mother and she loved and honored her mother. And she wrote a poem for her mother and all women uh, in 1870. How many people have heard of this poem, the Mother's Day Proclamation? Uh, do you want to hear it again, the people yes, that have heard it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. In honor of mothers everywhere and those who nurture and respect life. Arise then, women of this day, Arise all women who have hearts, whether your baptism be of water or of tears. Say firmly, we will not have questions answered by irrelevant agencies. Our husbands will not come to us, reeking with carnage for caresses and applause. Our sons shall not be taken from us to unlearn. We have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. We, the women of one country, will be too tender of those of another country to allow our sons to be trained to injure theirs. From the bosom of the devastated earth, a voice goes up with our own. It says, disarm, disarm. The sword of murder is not the balance of justice. Blood does not wipe out dishonor, nor violence indicate possession. As men have often forsaken the plow and the anvil at the summons of war, let women now leave all that may be left of home for a great and earnest day of counsel. Let them meet first as women to bewail and commemorate the dead. Let them solemnly take counsel with each other as to the means whereby the great human family can live in peace, each bearing after his own time the sacred impress, not of Caesar, but of God. In the name of womanhood and humanity, I earnestly ask that a general congress of women without limit of nationality may be appointed and held at some place deemed most convenient and the earliest period consistent with its objects to promote the alliance of the different nationalities, the amicable settlement of international questions, 
the great and general interests of peace. Thank you, Dee. So it's time to uh, start the uh, walk to the Justin Hammond Plaza. It's only four blocks. And today, actually, in Japan, uh, May 11th, Riko uh, Muto, who head of the uh, group seeking the uh, uh, prosecution, criminal prosecution of the typical uh, head executive and then uh, governing, uh, governing the uh, party's head. Um, uh, she leads the uh, march who call uh, women and life. And they are uh, quietly march under with big anger. But we're going to go just four blocks. And then it is our style is still shout. So we're going to shout, chanting, then uh, four blocks. Then there, I think we have several more speakers, and we're going to have a minute of uh, silence to pray the victim of uh, Fukushima. So please join us the march. Please prepare. Uh, we're going to leave here in a couple of minutes. And uh, please, uh, whoever leads this uh, march, please walk slowly. We have people uh, in the wheelchair too, and then a uh, lot of old people. So we uh, walk very slow and peacefully, and sometimes maybe we can sing a song. So let's just uh, prepare. Uh, the one person, uh, she can uh, walk, she can go. She's going to speak very shortly. So please, uh, everybody, listen to her and prepare at the same time. I'm speaking as a mother and a grandmother, and I think the poem that Dee read about the war against the war, this nuclear stuff is totally insane. We're killing people and killing ourselves. I mean, we're dying here from the effects of the radiation and no one even knows about it. And for us to go ahead and build more nuclear plants, the only purpose of these nuclear plants, you say, is for power, it's not. It's for getting the raw materials for the goddamn bombs. And somehow, the women of the world have to say, stop this insanity, this is wrong, this is evil. We must stop the policy of our government to be funding this insanity. We've got to stop it. I think we want to get ready to march. Right. So, um, I think of that, uh, maybe go to the front. And maybe two of the banners goes earlier. Then we follow those banners. Right here. Yep. Stay there, stay there. Do you know which way that we're going? I think we're going to go out. Uh, I'm not leading with parade. I'm just, I'm going to have to ask over here. Okay. I'm just can, I, can I ask you something? Okay. 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 Four block two, this way. Yes, at the end turn. Yeah, right. This way, four block that way and right. Thank you. Four this way. Four this way. Okay. All right, All right we're off. Uh, we're going to be marching through the streets of the financial district. Are you going to be in that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Part, part of the march. I'm live streaming it. Oh, oh, you are. Can yeah. I also, like, take you included? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to. Okay. You can always take my picture. I'm There we go, we're getting ready to leave. We're at Sacramento and Battery here in downtown San Francisco in the financial district. We're here protesting from Fukushima, as you can see. Body, 
So we're headed towards the very building here in downtown San Francisco. Against Fukushima, no more Fukushima. Got a small demonstration of about 25 to 30 people. And we're headed towards the Embarcadero Center on the run. Fukushima never again! 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 Hiroshima never again! Hiroshima never again! Hiroshima never again! Nagasaki never again! Nagasaki never again! Shut down all the nooks! 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 Shut down the aeroplane! Shut down the aeroplane! Shut down the aeroplane! Shut down the Down here at the Embarcadero protesting no more Fukushima. Down, all the Save Fukushima children. Save Fukushima children. Save Fukushima children. Beautiful day, glad to be back in San Francisco live streaming folks. Gonna have more speakers here in just a second.
just a second, folks. Okay, so we pray for children in Fukushima, and it's a Mother's Day, so mothers also. One minute. Thank you. <coughs> so we continue for the uh, speak out. The person who uh, didn't speak uh, over there, please uh, come forward. Uh, how about Umi? Chang. Okay. Umi. Chang. Umi. Our founder of the uh, No Nukes Action, Umi Hagitani. She is uh, living for Japan May 19th. Unfortunately. Unfortunately but she is there to uh, send a lot of news from Japan to here to connect Japan and uh, California and America. So we are still together. But May 19th is not. That makes sense. Good. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Like we say, this it's a very important day. We can't be here without mothers. And if you're not planning to be mothers yourself, or if you want to be mothers, and you know you somehow not happen to be mothers, I'm hoping that this is a really great day to celebrate our lives, regardless of who you are. And uh, nuclear power accident, nuclear weapons. It seems like it's never ending. So. Probably I'm just going to repeat like what I've been saying all through this. Um, we have to focus on the success. What have you done so far? What have you wh where have you been? Uh, all the time when we go, when I go around, I get asked this question: What is the end game for this Fukushima? Fukushima ni wari wa arimasu ka? How do you answer this question? Who thinks that Fukushima has some some ending? <laughs> Civilization <laughs> has this time, yeah, it's a magical time. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Just trying to get it. Yay, 4pm! <laughs> so I'm, I'm usually often asked about this end game for this Fukushima and then if you look for the reactor core situation it seems like no ending 50 years who will be survive which one of us will be surviving to see the end 80 years we don't know 200 years if we think about the nuclear particles that comes out then it feels like there's no ending but if we think about for example focusing on what mothers has been doing in Japan we know from other people's clip and the news that mother has been working very very hard and uh, it's not only about like making things like happening and it's not like they're trying to be revolutionary but I would say the revolution has been happening in Japan already and uh, think about the 2011 in March. March 11th, the earthquake and the nuclear accident happened. And since then, I believe that each one of us became an expert on this issue. And also, each one of us has the answer. If you're asked about like how is Fukushima, you probably have your own answer. 
some of us are focusing on nuclear reactor suppliers low suitcase. So for them, the goal could be different. Or if you're focusing on saving children by evacuating them, then that could be different from those who are trying to build clinic in Fukushima. But the important thing is that we already have answers. And it's really great that it started from our resistance. When somebody tells you that your life means nothing and you're safe regardless, of what's happening, we say, no, we're not in a safe place. And that's a really strong power. And I would say this is a revolution. All of us know how to express ourselves. All of us know how to like answer and unite. So that's really a revolutionary effort. I don't use the revolution so much. But we became curious beating, curious, and we are not receptive. The capitalistic system doesn't want us to be receptive and curious, right? So we are already beyond whom we are, whom we have been. And in that way, like we're having the end game. And I would say my end game, one of my end games is to say, to be able to talk about the radioactivity without using the word cancer. It is very hard. Why is nuclear power or nuclear weapons so dangerous? And a lot of, lot of us know about the thyroid cancer. But can we talk about something without cancer? Do you know any other symptoms that comes out due to radiation without cancer? What do you know? Birth defects. Birth defects? Kidney inferior? Nasal bleeding? Fertility? Dizziness? Infertility. Infertility, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, so we know a lot. We know about diabetes. We know about kidney failure. We know about high blood pressure. Are we familiar with all these symptoms already? No? We know about this. We know about this in a native people's land in the U.S. We know about this. Is, this has been happening in Palau. It didn't even require us to think about all these symptoms in relation to what the U.S. and Japan have been doing. And ICRP and other organizations have decided like what is safe or what is not. So if we fell into the discussion of the cancer, some people who are already aware may close their ears and say like, oh, I don't want to hear about that. But it is about the time then we can say that something that we are already familiar with, like birth defects, we can talk about these things in a different ways. It's not about, if you say the nuclear power and nuclear disaster and people die because of the cancer, people won't listen to you because cancer we're already familiar with. And all over Japan we have Kokuritsugan Senta and we think that Kokuritsugan Senta is somewhere that can collect our data and that can save us. My grandfather died because of the cancer and he was diagnosed like kind of prematurely and he was overdosed with amnesia, um, Anastasia. So it's not, you know, when whatever happens to you, the cancer or diabetes, whatever happens to you, when you have your power to determine like who you are and if you can determine your safety and your condition, that's I think is the end game. We don't need to use the word cancer. Of course, we have to know about the cancer. But I think I want to see the end of the cancer game because I don't want I want the military, U.S. military and Japan military to stop mesmerizing us that we only care about acute exposure, ex, ex, uh, acute ex, how do you call it? Exposure to the acute radiation, and uh, a lot of times, a lot of times we're still thinking in a Cold War way, and. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up, sorry. Um, I'm getting a little bit emotional because I don't know what to say in front of all you people who know already about this kind of things. Um, I would like to invite you, like, a look at this leaflet. This is called the Connect the Dots for Family Corridor Walk. And um, we are dealing with a lot of pollution. It doesn't require us to think even about the little more, but there are lots and lots of things happening in the Bay Area. And uh, many people are so busy because we're dealing with the poverty, other environmental issues. And when we talk about the nukes, we often, you know, are not powerful enough to connect. 
but there are people who are connecting the dots as much as we are. And the May 17th, these people, 350.org, I don't know more, SF Bay Area and Sunflower Alliance, these people are having um, walk, series of walk, four walks monthly, and then there's like one walk already happened. And we go to the refinery area in the Richmond, Martinez, Pittsburgh, and meet with the community, talk to the people, and work together, learn about the issues. And unfortunately, it is very hard for us, for us anti-nukes people to go to Diablo Canyon right now and learn about the community of San Luis Obispo or Las Osas or Santa Barbara. And it's very hard for us to go to, you know, Livermore Weekly, for example. And we don't necessarily have to think about the, you know, effect of that. But uh, there are similar issues and common issues between the fracking and, uh, you know, a lot of people, last time when I went there, it was uh, very interesting. I talked to about like 20 people among 60 people who were working for the Vrindle work. And then some people said that they didn't know that Fukushima was ongoing. And some people have said, oh, you care about Fukushima, thank you. But still, nuclear power is better than the fracking. And I understand where they're coming from. Of course, the air pollution or like attacks on poor neighborhood is a real, real big thing. But it's a common thing. So they already have a big plate or like a backpack that they're carrying. And we, would, we should honor them as much as we should honor ourselves. So let's, I would invite you to go to the May 17th refinery work and talk to other people who are working on other issues. There are times that we can connect and uh, probably there will be, you know, some kind of like moments of end game happening. Thank you. Thank you, Umi-chan. Uh, hope umi -chan doing well in Japan. We definitely miss you, but please contact us. Can I say one more thing? Yes. Sorry, sorry. Um, so this is a separate thing. So May 18th, come to West Oakland. All day I'm going to have a party of saying goodbye. And in Japan, I'm going to be working with Ecological Options Network, EON. You can go check out their website, eon3.net. And uh, I'm going to be interviewing and uh, evacuees in Hokkaido and farmers in Hokkaido who have been delivering vegetables to Fukushima people. And probably I'm going to be able to travel with uh, Pradeep Indrakar, who came over here from India to talk about Tarapu nuclear project, the oldest the, the oldest nuclear power project in India. So we're going to go around to around um, Diablo Canyon. From Diablo Canyon, Kyo Hisase will be coming. And we're going to have a tour in Shinjuku. And Yuko Tanahira from Tarasomo Sapon in New York will come and talk about uranium film festivals and um, yeah, uh, other things like Indian uh, Indian Point Power Plant in New York. So there will be a lot of organizing happening, and I would like to report that. But what I can ask you is that uh, come to me and please tell me what do you think about Fukushima, how Fukushima changed you, what do you think about Diablo Canyon. I have sets of questions, and I would like to deliver your questions to the people in Japan. Because it is very hard, as you know, it is very hard for Japan, Japanese people, people in Japan, to talk about what's on their mind. But if it comes in a form of dialogue, it's so much, it will be so much easier for them to open up. And please be the person to listen to them. And please be our power. Thank you. Thank you, Mi Chan. Uh, is Ray here? Ray? Who signed in the speak out sheet? Ray? No? Who else? Samsung, you want? Very short. No translator, I guess. So, can you speak in English? No. <laughs> I can speak that in Japanese. Okay. I need a volunteer uh, okay. translator. Only one. Yeah. Uh, I'm from uh, Los Angeles. Only and uh, one single report. Uh, fine. Finally, and uh, yesterday, I, we make an uh, English meeting uh, almost in the first time. A lot and uh, all the Japanese community activists and a lot correct and uh, they said and uh, all amazing and information and uh, for a nuclear plant 
don't understand. And the first time, and uh, we and uh, know it. Uh, he important and uh, information they said and uh, we begin and uh, uh, make an uh, anti-nuclear movement uh, up there in uh, Los Angeles uh, this uh, uh, San Francisco is and uh, too important 22 time and uh, continue and uh, this meeting this action and uh, I have to and uh, support at uh, Japan all and the uh, Friday uh, make an uh, uh, anti-nuclear action make it uh, it's an uh, important but and the uh, course people is uh, and a uh, little bit huge uh, share to uh, and the countryside and make and the uh, a small and meeting, small action. Uh, it's too important. Uh, if uh, continue, we get um, a lot and uh, anti-nuclear movement. All right, thank you. Sorry. Yes, yeah, Sam Kanga is always uh, come from Los Angeles when the rally is on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, and so thank you so much. Thank you, and then I think he's really organizing in the Los Angeles very well. Uh, had a yesterday had a big, like, uh, 50, 60 people, yeah. right? Um, most of the people are American-speaking, English-speaking people, he said, and then not many Japanese-speaking people come, but I think we really should connect the English-speaking and the Japanese speaking people because Japanese people cannot be isolated in California. We are living in California, living in America. We must really connect and then uh, fuse together with the English speaking people. So um, uh, good luck for the uh, Los Angeles and then thank you very much for supporting us. And then it's almost going to be end, but I like to uh, show off one Japanese doll today. <laughs> Because uh, uh, it's a beautiful Japanese. Today the Japan town uh, called kimono the Kimono Day. day. That's why she's wearing. But it is beautiful. Please check. I want to show because you see the kimono and the obi, everything the color. It's a vintage. Vintage, vintage kimono like a 1920s style. And she. <laughs> She's just like a Japanese kyonin, yeah? This kind of old, old. Yeah, I could say vintage. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you so much. And so it came the last, so have a steep. Do you have a quick? You say so. Next time, when I okay. Quick, and then after that, okay. Okay. So uh, I'm Steve Zeltzer with No New Gotchen Committee. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming today. It's a beautiful day, and uh, we're in solidarity. We're here. It's being videotaped and sent to Japan. And I, I want to let people know that not only are we speaking up in this country, but we're giving support to the Japanese people. Uh, that they, there are people around the world who support them in their struggle uh, to survive this catastrophe, this man-made catastrophe, Fukushima. So we have a, a job to do. We have to organize and get our voices out. And we are getting stronger. Our voices are getting stronger. And the more that we become together on an organized basis and speak out, the stronger we become. So let's tell our friends, our workmates, uh, the need to speak out and organize. I know in the Labor Council, we're going to work on getting a resolution of the San Francisco Labor Council. Uh, calling for against the restarting of the nuclear plants because most people are unaware that Japan government with the support of the United States government wants to restart these nuclear plants so we have to organize and educate people you cannot restart these nuclear plants that's a crime not only against the people of Japan the people of the United States the people of the world we have to close these plants down so we are going to organize and educate and the other thing is is that we have to understand the reason they're continuing the nuclear power is because of private profit. These private companies make money from the nuclear industry. They really don't care if people get cancer. Uh, it's the same with Chevron. 
uh, in, in, the, in the East Bay. It's blowing up. It's, it's the fires here. People are getting sick. And they just announced they're going to close down one of the only public hospitals in Contra Costa County. So how can they be closing down a public hospital in Contra Costa County when they need health care? They need a hospital. And Chevron last year made $26 billion in profit. And they don't have enough money to keep a hospital open in Contra Costa County? This is a crime against the people of Contra Costa County. It's a crime against the children on Children's Day in Japan and on Mother's Day here. People have the right to health care. And these companies don't really care whether we get health care or not. So we have to speak out. We have to organize. And I agree with Umi. We have to network with our brothers and sisters in other movements. It's not just about Fukushima. It's about energy efficiency. It's about human rights against repression. People in Japan are being arrested for passing out flyers against the burning of nuclear rubble in Osaka. How can somebody be arrested for passing out a flyer saying that we should not burn nuclear rubble? Isn't that a crime? to arrest somebody for passing out a flyer saying we shouldn't burn nuclear rubble in, in the Osaka prefecture, yet this is exactly what's going on. So we have to get the information out, we have to speak out, and we have to build a movement. We have no other choice. And also, the last thing I want to say is, you can get depressed about what this world, and there's a lot of things to be depressed about, what's happening environmentally and economically. The only way that we will change it is our active uh, participation in changing it. We have to become participants. We have to become organizers. That's the only way we can save the world and save ourselves by our own activity. And that's why we're here today on Mother's Day in San Francisco on 2014. So thank you very much for joining us. For the people, the mothers, and the children of the world. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Yes, thank you so much for joining and supporting us. Please visit our website, www no loops action that word press dot com so you can see the uh, next event uh, any uh, things uh, please check out and then of course of course we will meet again at the june 11th at the 275 battery street front of the japan consulate um so far from march 11th uh consul hayakawa uh, refusing to take our letter to Prime Minister in person. So that the last two times we had to uh, send the letter by certified mail. But before that, they took for 19 times or 18 times a uh, letter in person. We will write the letter to Prime Minister next month, June 11th again. So we will see what, what happened. Uh, we might be have to uh, dying on the sidewalk to protest of this uh, uh, consulate uh, attitude, um, we will let you know. Uh, please uh, visit our website and then please uh, let's get together June 11th again at the 275 Battery Street before the uh, front of the Japanese consulate. Shut down all the knocks! Shut down! Shut down all the ducks! 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 Fukushima never again! 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 Nagasaki never again. Shut down all the knocks. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Anyway, we're finishing up here at the uh, Justin Herman Plaza, Bradley or Chelsea Manning Plaza down here in San Francisco. Well, maybe what we can this is your uh, is trip at live streamer at Freeman Sullivan. I'll be back tomorrow night, hopefully. And I don't like to, uh, I'm more a spur of the moment live streamer now, but I will be covering events here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Once again, like coming back from the East Coast, I'm glad to be back in my beloved city by the bay. So thanks a lot.
This is Freeman Sullivan signing off. Uh, also, we're going to ask you to tomorrow, please call the White House and tell President Obama no Keystone XL. That number is 202-456-1414. The number again, Monday through Friday, call between 9 and 5 p.m. The number is 202-456-1414. That's President Obama's number. Say no on Keystone XL, please. Anyway, um, hopefully I'll be live streaming uh, more frequently here in San Francisco. Uh, have a good evening, folks.